Create Content Folders in Blackboard Learn. In this short video, we'll first do a comparison of content folders and learning modules. Next, you'll learn how to create a content folder in your Blackboard Learn course. Finally, we'll add items, web links, and upload some files into a content folder. Let's begin by comparing the two different ways that instructors typically organize their unit content in Blackboard. What you're looking at here is a demo course that is an example of what a fully online course might look like. As you can see, there are quite a lot of options on the menu, and there's a button that leads to an area called Course Units. So this is a content area that's called Course Units. And in this particular demo course, I've used learning modules instead of content folders to organize the content. If I open up a learning module, you can see that learning modules have a table of contents over here to the left. Now, I'm going to click this arrow to hide the course menu. Notice that I work my way from the top to the bottom. I also can see a very quick outline of everything that's in the unit. And I have various subfolders that have chunked the information into several different pieces. And the students can also collapse and expand these and then see an overview of everything that's in the unit. Notice that if I click on anything in the table of contents, that object appears in the right-hand content frame. Now, let's take a look at a course that has organized unit materials into content folders instead of into a learning module. Here we are in a different class. Let's imagine that this is an on-ground class, where the instructor doesn't necessarily have to put quite as many content links uh, or files into their course. So again, I'm going to click on a menu item that's named Course Content that leads to a content area called Course Content. And on this content area, you can see that this time I have links to a learning module, which I've included in here just for a sample so we can use it for comparison purposes. And then I've also created several other folders that are named Unit 1, Unit 2, Unit 3, etc. Now, the first thing that I want to do is simply compare the content in a learning module to the exact same content in a content folder. Earlier we looked at a learning module, so here's a simple learning module. It just has about six items in it. It has an introduction, some objectives, a link to a lecture video, um, some PowerPoint handouts, and two case study PDFs. And if I scroll vertically, you can see that this is what it looks like to the instructor with edit mode on. Now if I turn edit mode off, here's what it looks like to the student, just like we looked at before. It's just that there are fewer items because this is an on-ground class and the instructor doesn't need to make as much instructional content available to the students through Blackboard. Now let's take a look at this exact same content in a content folder. I'm going to click back on course content on the menu once again and open up my unit one in a content folder. You can see it's very, very similar. I have edit mode off. The difference is really that there's no table of contents off to the left. In other words, the student simply has to scroll from the top to the bottom. Now, when you have very little information like this, this is certainly not a problem. The real advantage of learning modules comes out with a table of contents when you have quite a bit of content in each individual unit, um, especially content that has to be organized into subfolders because the student has the outline format to look at in the table of contents. So I just have an introduction, I have objectives, I have a link to a website, and a few links to PDFs. So let me show you quickly how I actually built this so that you can build your own. I'm going to turn edit mode on so that we're in the instructor view. I'm going to go back to course content. As a matter of fact, I think what I'll do is I'll create a new folder so you can see how I do that from scratch. So I'm going to click build content, select content folder, and I'm going to create Unit 5. And this is uh, just a description of what's inside the folder. So all I have to do is name the folder, put in a little description if I want to, and here's that folder right down there. Now I'm going to click right on the folder name in order to open the folder so I can put content into it. So I'm going to begin by creating a new item. Uh, so I'll click Build Content and select Item. 
Now I had some placeholding text in Notepad, so I'm simply going to select that text and copy it, then minimize Notepad, and now I'm just going to copy that right in there. To reformat it, I select it. I'm going to select Arial, and I'm going to call this Unit 5 Introduction, and click Submit. That's all there is to it. Now I have the very first item in my folder. Now I'm going to create a second item called Unit 5 Objectives, and I'll create a bulleted list. I'm going to make it consistent, make that heading bold, click Submit, and now I've created my second item. Now I'm going to uh, insert a web link. Here's the tab that has the link to the YouTube video that I want to insert a link to. So I right click and select copy, click back to the tab where Blackboard is, select build content web link, and I'll type in a name, paste in the URL, click submit, and that's all there is to it. Now I have a link to that YouTube video. Now I'm going to create a couple of more links to files. I'm going to select Build Content File. I'll click Browse My Computer. I'm going to select the uh, lecture handout PDF. Click OK and then click Submit. Now I have a link to that handout and I'm just going to put a link to one more handout in there. I'm going to select Build Content File browse my computer, and put a link to the case study one PDF. I'm going to now click Submit one more time, and now I have built up most of the content that I had in uh, the units. If I wanted to put the handout first, I click and drag. If I wanted to put the case study first, I click and drag. So I hope this video has been helpful to you as you prepare to create instructional content in your own Blackboard courses.